Oh, sugar honey iced tea. It's the EAC show. Good day, ladies and gents. I'm Emilio A. Colon. And I am Marcus Mack. And this is the EAC show coming to you from sunny South Florida with episode 107. 107 is being joined by the winner of last week. We are going to call him Prince Semi from Coming to America. LeVon Harvey went nine and four last week and has his first winning weekend on the EAC show. LeVon, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. No, thank you for joining me. All right, you guys are following me today. All right, and call me what you want, <laughs> but, but call me what you want, but you gotta call me your winner. Look, I'm gonna tell you something right now, man. I'm rich, all my, all my, all my picks hit, and I got a special guest with me. You know what this is? It's a lock because all my picks are locks. I got a special, special, special little treat for y'all soon. And by the way, you already know what time it is. You see that Harvey Casa in the Casa? Let's get it rolling, baby. Yeah, the chest out. Say well, something. listen, yo, chest Harvey went and baby. found every single dollar bill in his house. What's that? A twenty? No, not that. <laughs> Give me the ones. <laughs> Pass me the ones. Hey, you see that? You see that? Did he mean when he's like this? What is this? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're on right now. Don't look, don't look too close, but that's what we on, baby. Listen, let me explain something to you. This is our Epic Friday episode. Marcus Smack is always with his Hennessy and his vitamins. Right cool. now, LeVon Harvey's with his Casamigos. I'm on my water trip because I'm too fucking fat. Like, literally, this whole quarantine and holidays and eating and shit, I'm just bloated. I'm big as hell. I got to give a shout out to my man who's being real petty. He lost the bet, and homie paid me in a whole bunch of ones. Look at this shit. Look, look at this. Look, look. I feel like a drug dealer. <laughs> Like seriously, I feel like a drug dealer. Give me, <laughs> give me stack of one. Like, what am I gonna do with this? Take it to the strip club? Yeah, just waste it. I saw Marcus Mack. I saw you post a new thing about strippers and how they gonna get paid now. They got their Venmo stamp card or they cash out. On the, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of dope. That's wow. kind of dope. That make that make it a whole lot easier for the tricks to trick. Big shout outs to them strippers. So just want to make sure you guys got up sportsbook so we can sportsbook.com so we can look up our, our lines, correct? You know it, you know it. All right. So I'm gonna lead off just in case because I don't know what, what's going on, Marcus Mack situation. Last week, if you guys didn't join us, Marcus Mack was having some technical difficulties today. He started off with that, but luckily we have him here and we're gonna be able to get his picks as well this week. Cam wasn't able to join us. Hopefully, Cam could join us next week. So let's discuss this week's games coming up. We got some games. On Saturday, two games on Saturday. First game is going to be uh, the Buffalo Bills versus the Denver Broncos. And the Buffalo Bills are minus five in Denver. LeVon, you're going to give me your pick. Marcus Mack, you give me yours and I'll go last. Not a problem at all. I'm going with the hot hand right now. I'm going to go with um, Marcus. What do you call him again? Rough, Rough Buff Griselda. That is correct. Rough buff it is. Lock it in, baby. What you got, Marcus? I mean, anything, anything less would be uncivilized. I'm definitely going with, with uh with buff, with, with, with Buffalo. Marcus, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, I, I apologize. I was trying to, you know, get the little get the little micro shot there. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm running with rough buff. You know me. I'm, you know, uh, Levon is going anything against Miami. It doesn't matter. He's taking Miami. Uh, uh, Emilio, he's taking Jets. He don't. It doesn't matter who they playing. Me, I don't care who Buffalo is playing. I'm going rough buff. Griselda. It's rough the right Bills. side. Buffalo Bills look like one of the best teams in the AFC, not for nothing. But this game is in mile high. This game is in Denver. And I think that Drew Locke can cover that spread. I'm going to take Denver plus five. I didn't, I'm not saying they win the game. Buffalo Bills still might win the game by three points. I'm just saying they're not going to cover the spread. So I'm going to give Drew Locke the five points. I still think Denver wins the game. I just don't think they cover the spread. So we got yo, the next game yo, on Saturday. Get your smelling salts. You, you, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your smelling salts. You keep losing, man. This guy yo, wins next one, I can't say nothing. This guy wins one week and he's feeling himself. I'm telling you right now. Yo, listen, 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 listen. He really upped the ante because when you, you win, you come with the crown. Feels good. <laughs> yeah. Right? When LeVon wins, he came with the Cuban 
He came with the shirt out. He came straight Miami style. He came with the Casamigos. He came with a grand total of 56 $1 bills. And it's he Christmas time. Come to play. Yo, talking about it. <laughs> his, shirt, his shirt looked like a checkerboard. <laughs> I get checks, baby. And I'm going to ice spin it. I'm in the Second, building. Second game on Saturday, we got the Carolina Panthers going to Lambeau Field playing Mr. All World, Mr. Everything, Mr. MVP, Aaron Rodgers, AR 12. And AR-12 and them boys, Devontae Adams, are minus nine at the crib. LeVon, give me your pick, Marcus, and then I'll go last once again. Oh, okay. Hey, Aaron Rodgers is having an MVP season. And him and Adams are doing this, this, this touchdown streak, and he's intentionally throwing him the ball over and over again. All good. But guess what? I'm going with two glove plus nine, baby. Lock it in. We got Marcus. I mean, I mean, you know what? What's what's uh what's uh what's uh Carolina's record right now? I don't really know. I, I mean, it's not that great. I mean, what are they? It's not that great. No. And I believe, I believe, uh, uh Green Bay's record is pretty untouchable. What are they right now? They they probably got like one one loss. No, they think about like two or three, something like that. Two or yeah. three. All right. Well, I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Green Bay. Don't kill me. Don't kill me for this, Cameron. Don't kill me. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Green Bay to win. But I like um. I like uh Carolina to cover. Wrong way. Wrong way. No, no, no. I like them to win, but I like oh. Carolina to cover. Oh, okay. My bad. So you got Panthers plus nine. Oh, cool. Welcome. Welcome to the team. Right. I'm going to take Aaron Rodgers minus the nine points. This is going to be a blowout. Teddy Two Gloves is not going to be able to get it done in that freezing cold in Lambeau Field. Uh, Jonas Antetokounmpo just signed a brand new deal. And and you know what? Aaron Rodgers is a primary owner. He's a minority owner of the Milwaukee Bucks. So he's going to go out there. And he's going to throw 34 touchdowns this game just to represent Jonas. Real talk. So I'm going to take Green Bay Packers minus nine. Yeah, I definitely think I think offensively, I think offensively, uh Carolina don't got nothing for Green Bay. Like there's no I don't even I don't think Carolina's defense could stop that the uh the Green Bay offense like the way Green Bay defense isn't that good either. And and Teddy's gonna find a way to just cover. Like I said. And and that's I'm, my thing. That's my thing. I feel like Green Bay's defense ain't all that great either. So I'm like, okay, we win. give me, give me Carolina, give me Carolina to cover, but there's no way in the world Aaron Rodgers is letting them fly. We got Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans going over to Indianapolis to play the Indianapolis Colts. This is an AFC uh, South division game. The Colts are minus seven and a half at the crib. Tell me who you got, LeVon. Um, I got uh, the Indianapolis Colts winning by 10 points. Therefore, I have the minus... 7.5. Houston's defense is just really bad. Um, um, Cooks is back, but he's in concussion protocol. Back and forth. And right now, Colts are hot right now. Hilton has risen from the dead. They got Pittman back there, and they got that rookie running back uh, running the rock against this terrible Houston Texans uh, defensive line. So give me a uh, give me give me a uh, Indianapolis minus 7.5. Uh, let's go. Yeah, give me a uh, give me give me give me Indianapolis. I don't I don't like I don't like Houston on the road. Give me Indiana, Indianapolis. I'm not going against Deshaun. I'm gonna take Deshaun Watson plus the seven and a half points. Playing in a dome is just like similar to just playing in Houston for Deshaun Watson. I don't think it's gonna have the effect on the Houston Texans like it had the week before when they were playing in Chicago and Trubisky looked like a damn MVP. So I'm gonna take but Houston, Texas. Do you do you think Houston on the road? I understand, I get it with the, you know, the terrain and everything. But do you think Houston on the road can do it to Indianapolis? I just think they cover. I didn't say they would win. I just think they cover. Oh, okay. I'm playing okay. I'm playing the number. I'm not playing the game. I'm playing the number. I'm thinking the number's too big. You're giving seven and a half points. You know what? Phillip Rivers makes mistakes left and right. He's careless with the ball. So, no, I, I'll take the seven and yeah. a half points. Yeah, he's careless with the ball, but then there's no one. To, who's in a... Allow him to be careless on the, on the defensive side of Houston. You never That's know, my... man. J.J. Watch might show up this game. He might have a pick, a strip sack, fumble. He might have something. He's still, oh, his brother or him? Oh, J.J. Watt. Which one? I said J.J. Watt. 
Oh, he still plays in the league? Oh, okay, whatever. Disrespect. Heard so okay. disrespectful. I haven't heard so of this disrespect. Week, bro. JJ White, you out there listening to LeVar Harvey feeling himself a little bit too much. Disrespect not, your name. Human on, bro, and I'm lit. Let's go. Let's not next. next then next. we got the one o'clock game. We got the Detroit Lions who are going to the Tennessee Titans. They're gonna go play Tannehill with them boys and King Henry and them boys. They're gonna go down to Tennessee and they're minus eleven. Now mind, Marcus, you don't know this, and I'm telling you. There is no Matthew Stafford in this game. Detroit's quarterback will not be playing. So who you guys got in this game? It's the it's the Tennessee Titans minus 11 at the crib. I mean, you know, you know, and then I'm not going with the Detroit Cats. You know that. And there's no way in the world I'd like them to come close to that 12 points. So give me Tennessee. I know I was supposed to go after LeVar, but just give me Tennessee because you know I'm not going against Tannehill. Oh, man. Well, I mean, I'll tell you one thing. I my 11 points uh, what in Tennessee's at the crib, and the quarterback is Chase Daniel. I, I mean, I don't even know this guy's this guy's nobody. So, uh, and that's going to affect the receivers as well. They got you know they got Marvin Jones out there. They got the they got the tight end. Um, he's pretty beast too. But Swift is cool in the backfield with the Lions too. But uh, uh, King Henry's on a mission, and guess what? The Russian what he's about to hit 2,000 yards soon. So they about to pound this rock against a terrible run defense in the Lions. I got Tennessee just like last week, winning this game by two touchdowns plus. So lock me for the minus 11, and let's get jiggy with it. I have to agree. Clean sweep on this one. We got the Tennessee Titans minus 11 at the crib. Um, Ryan Tannehill and the boys end up getting this job done. Shout out to Mike Brabel and them. King Henry's an animal. He's a beast. He's literally the king of Zamunda, the king of Wakanda, whatever whatever African country you want to sit there and name, that's what King Henry is the king of. Yo, the fact that he just named two fictional places was hilarious <laughs> to me. <laughs> Next game on the slate, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going over to Atlanta and going over to see Matt Ryan and them boys, Julio Jones. They are favored on the road, minus six. Tom Brady's getting... He's favored by six points on the road against the Atlanta Falcons. LeVon, who you got? Interesting you mentioned Julio Jones because he will not be playing in this competition. Um, so Cal really will be the highlight of uh, this offense, along with like Hayden Hurst and Russell Gage and just a dusty running back in, what's his name? He's not good anyway. He's playing the Rams. Um, anyways, uh, I don't trust Tom Brady that much this time of the season. I don't know what's going on with that team. Uh, Antonio Brown did something to that team. I don't know if he's trying to force it to him, but they're not clicking like they should in six points for Atlanta at home. Give me the points, plus six. I'm going plus six Atlanta Falcons. Go. Marcus, you got the Falcons, you got Tampa Bay. Come on. Come on. Give me Tampa. You know, I, it's, it's, if there's one team in the league that I'm never going to bet on, it's going to be Atlanta. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> take I'm gonna take a phrase from LeVon Harvey a couple episodes ago. Atlanta Falcons is the greatest first half bet in the history of first halves. They're a first half bet team. They're always in the game in the first half and they end up blowing it in the second half. So I'm gonna take the uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus the six points. I'm gonna give Tom Brady minus the six, and the boys are gonna end up beating up on the Atlanta Falcons. Uh the next game is gonna be a divisional rivalry game between the AFC East. The former defending champions against the real upstart fight. You got the New England Patriots who are going to come down here to Miami and play the Miami Dolphins. Two of them boys and Brian Flores. And the Dolphins are minus one and a half only, which is really weird to me because the New England Patriots look like shit and the Miami Dolphins look really good. So, LaVon, Marcus, give me your opinions on this game. Um, as a Dolphins fan, um, I can tell you exactly why it's like that. Because number one, they have no running backs. Um, Gaskins is 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 uh, is banged up. Um, uh, the, Ahmed, that that rookie's messed up as well. All they got is the same same running back from last week. I forgot his name, but um, Devontae Parker might not be playing. Gasecki's out as well, so they're banged up. And now they got a whole bunch of you know gadget players on offense with Tua. So that's why the spread is that close. Um, um, guess what? For the first time in the history of the show, I'm going to go ahead and pick the under 41.5. Uh, let's move forward from there. I don't, I don't know what's Give me a pick! Pick the spread, you moron! <laughs> boys, I'm going to go. <laughs> well, my boys, man, minus 1.5. I can't pick. I can't pick the pack. No, he really... 
Yo, he really did that? He really went with Miami? Yo, he's re yo, he really don't be playing. Fam, I went Miami last week and I covered against the Chiefs. Well, you got more. Yo, listen, that, that yo, yeah, that 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 was a that was a very far fetch get. Just for the record, I like nobody saw that one coming. But you know, I'm going with New England. And the funny thing is, sometimes, especially for the last couple of games, I have been feeling the Miami Dolphins. But there's no way in the world I won't let them let me down. Just like my, uh, just like the Jets, I, I won't just let and, and the Knicks and so forth and so on. I just won't let them do it to me. No, I'm going with the New England Patriots too. I'm going to give Bill Belichick a chance. It's very, very rare that a rookie quarterback. Ends up beating Bill Belichick. So I'm going to go with Bill Belichick and them boys, and we're going to see if Tua can pull it off and prove me wrong. The next game on the slate is also another 1 o'clock game. You got them boys up in Seattle coming to play the Washington football team, Chase Young and the boys. I don't think Alex Smith is going to be the quarterback in this game. Nope. It might be Dwayne Haskins. But the Seattle Seahawks are minus 6.5 point favorites on the road against the Washington football team. Marcus, tell me who you think is going to win LeVon, and then I'll go last. Oh, I'm taking the Seahawks. Man, you know what? If Alex Smith was at quarterback, I'd love this game way more. But just to let you know, officially, he is not going to be playing. It's going to be careless, Dwayne Haskins. And um, he's really good for McLaurin because he balls out with McLaurin um, when they when they met, when they they met pair up. But six and a half is a lot of points. And, yo, this – and like I said, this Washington football uh, D-line is no joke because they're going to come after Russell. So – you know what, man? I'm just going to go ahead and that's a lot of points. It's in Washington. I'm going to take Washington plus the 6.5. Mark, I have Mark. to agree with LeVon. I'm going to take Washington with the 6.5 as well. I think they end up covering that spread. They might not win the game, but they end up covering that spread. That defense, those boys, Ron Rivera has them playing lights out. They're ready. Yo, listen, I just want, I just want you guys to be clear, right? I understand that 6.5 makes it look sweet. Now I mean, now if it was seven and a half, but that six point five makes it look sweet. But do you really think that Washington football team stands a chance against the Seattle Seahawks? Yes, they're playing for a lot. They're playing for first place. They're playing for a playoff spot. So they have a lot more eagerness and want. And it's extremely difficult for teams to come from the West Coast and play a game that's basically at ten in the morning. That they're not used to playing. So for me, I'm gonna take the Washington football team plus the points. Mm -hmm. Very reasonable. I like that explanation. Russell's gonna be running all day. All days he'll be running. We got another one o'clock game. We got the Chicago Bears and MVP Mitchell Trubisky because he was an MVP last week <laughs> for sure. Going to play the Minnesota Vikings, Dalvin Cook and uh, and Kirk Cousin and the boys. The Minnesota Vikings are minus three in this game. Their favorite, Levon. What you got? I am going to go with Minnesota Vikings, man. I think they got so much. I got Jefferson, Thielen, and Cook. That 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 threesome right there is going to light these boys up. Marcus so Mack, tell me. I'm 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 going to work with LeVon on this one. I'm a, I like I like uh, Minnesota. I'm going to go with the Chicago Bears. Mr. Trubisky is going to be out there to prove something. And I think he wants to prove that he's the quarterback in uh, Chicago going forward, and that they need to fire <laughs> Matt Nagy because Matt Nagy doesn't believe in him. So in all actuality, that change that was made early in the year, the Chicago Bears were, I think, 5-1 and one or 5-2, and two, if I'm not mistaken. And then they changed to Nick Foles, ended up losing almost every fucking game after that until Nick Foles got hurt. So in all actuality, it looks bad on the, the head coach, not necessarily the quarterback. So I'm going to go with the Chicago Bears plus the three points this week. The next game on the slate is going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars going up to Baltimore and playing the Baltimore Ravens, and the Ravens are minus 13-point favorites in this game. Marcus Mack and LeVon, I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens. I don't think they end up uh, – I don't think the Jacksonville Jaguars end up doing anything. They look like shit last week. I think they're going to look like shit this week too. You go, Lamar? I will say. I will say. I you, just, you want to just get me out the way? Go ahead. Go, go, go ahead. Go let, ahead me go get, let, me, let me just do my Shannon Sharp face. <laughs> the meme. <laughs> Listen, nothing out of Florida at all. You can just keep Jacksonville where they at. No way in the world. Give me Baltimore Ravens. 
So guys, we're not we're not we're not we're not hyped for Gardner Minshew being back as a starting quarterback. I'm um, not hyped for that. Uh, <laughs> not hyped we're for not that here for it. Sorry. <laughs> Nah, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going against. <laughs> Honest, thirteen is a big number, but I'm gonna go to all the points and just figure that Gardner does nothing um, as usual. <coughs> Excuse me. For me, this is the second, this is the second shittiest game of the week. Uh, we got the San Francisco 49ers going to uh, Jerry's World and going to play the Dallas Cowboys, America's team, and the 49ers are minus three at Dallas. So the 49ers are road favorites in Dallas. Tell me who you got, guys. Man, big, big shout out to the Dallas Cowboys, but it's not going to happen. Sorry. Give me the 49ers. <coughs> Give me 49ers minus three. <coughs> Stop smoking uh, so my, much damn vitamins. Yo, my lungs is anticipating the spliff because I don't have a lighter, but I'm coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, uh, y'all. I'm going to go and agree with you. Um, I believe you said minus three Frisco with 18 coughs following um, your answer. So I'm going to go ahead and agree. Um, I, yeah, my, my, I, I think Ayuk has a big game. Um, and um, I'm going to trust in Mullins just for this game. So minus three. I'm going to go with Jerry's boys and I'm going to take the plus three and the Dallas Cowboys at the crib. I'm going to sit there and take them. I'm, I think that just, you know what, it's a no nonsense game. It's a shitty game. And there's no real pressure on him, so I'm just gonna take the Dallas Cowboys. Emilio, but, but, but why? How you set tripping? This is a contrarian. No, it's a no pressure game. It doesn't matter. It's fucking irrelevant. Marcus, Marcus let him be. He's trying to be contrarian. He's gonna lose everything. Bro. <laughs> we got my New York Jets going to the Los Angeles Rams and playing in that big ass fucking five billion dollar stadium. Uh, the, Beautiful. The Jets, the Jets are getting 17 points <laughs> on the road. <laughs> Yo, wait, yo, the fact that me and LeVon just chuckled was hilarious. <laughs> 17 yo. point spread. <laughs> they make, yo, what, a good, what a good line, man. Oh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm taking guys. the Jets plus 17. I've been taking the Jets all year. I'm not going to stop taking the Jets. Jets plus 17. Yo, listen, well, yeah. if them, yo, listen, if they do not get somewhere up in them 17 points, can you at least just take somebody else for a Jets game one week? No, I agree. Never. never. Oh, pride. Um, you won't stop taking the Jets, and I'm not going to start betting them. <laughs> I told you what was going to happen last week. What was it 40 to three? And I see the same thing happening. Right? It's going to be like a 38 to like 10 game. You know what I'm saying? And it covers. It's a big number, but. 38 to 10 is a, is a is an outcome that's possible. So I'm going with that, man. You got Rams in the corner. You got Donald up the middle. He's going to see Ghost again, bro. This is Ghost part two. Ghost bus is part two for, for, for my man, uh, Sam Darnold. So so I'm going minus 17. It's a big number, but I'm going to swallow it. That's a huge number. This is going to be a really good game. The next game we got on the slate, we got the Philadelphia Eagles going to Arizona and playing the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals are minus six and a half. Mind you, Jalen Hurts did look good in his first game as a starter. So who you guys got, LaVon? You start off, Marcus. You go, and I'll go last. Um, I'm going to go with a healthier um, quarterback than he's been the last several weeks um, with the Arizona Cardinals. Um, I think Hopkins has a big game. Uh, we got they got the key to these rookie quarterbacks is getting a little bit of tape, just a little bit. He's great on it. He's great with his legs. He doesn't throw much. I think Cardinals cover this spread by a touchdown or more. So I'm going Cardinals minus six and a half, right below seven. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles this week. I'm going to go with Philadelphia. I, um, I, I like I like for them to cover. I like for them to cover. I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles as well, and I'm going to explain why. This is a statistic that none of you guys have. In that last game, Jalen Hurts committed no negative plays whatsoever. None. Mm -hmm. None. He takes care of the football. So I think he's going to do the same exact thing. He's going to use his legs. He's going to check it down when he has to check it down. He's not going to take chances if he don't have to. He's going to keep the ball. His defense is really good. So I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles plus six and a half points in that game. Then we got, this is a really, really good game. And Drew Brees is supposed to be the quarterback for this game coming up on Sunday. We got the Kansas City Chiefs going to New Orleans to go play in New Orleans to go play the New Orleans Saints. 
The Chiefs are favored minus three. Levon, who you got? Let's not get cute. <laughs> That's a big yeah. game. Let, let's not get cute. You know I'm going with. I'm going. I'm going with the the, the best quarterback in the league, and and he's a, and will be a top five quarterback all time if he keeps it up. I'm not. They haven't. You know what's funny? Chiefs haven't covered like the last four or five games. I think they're getting comfortable. They they they're getting bored. But this is kind of a big game. They brought Drew Brees back too for a reason to show him up. Minus three. Let's not get cute. Chiefs. Go ahead. I ain't. I ain't even gonna lie. I thought he was going to New Orleans for a second. Oh. Yo, listen. <laughs> yo, yo, listen. Yo, LeVon is pump fake king. I'm telling you, he is pump fake king. He would have you thinking something completely different. Yeah, Um. You, this game really looks like it's going to be a really good game. And the spread isn't really much. I think, if anything, this game is a throw up. Um. The rest, if it's some of these games on this slate that look like easy money. This is one of them games I don't think is going to be easy for either one of these teams, uh, but I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the Chiefs for the culture. I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints plus three. I think that uh, they're bringing back Drew Brees for a reason. They want to win this game. They need to win this game. Uh, and in all actuality, I just I think it's it's a totally different environment playing in that in, in New Orleans than anywhere else. So. I, I still think it's a really good game. I just think that the New Orleans Saints will cover the spread. The next game on the slate, we got the Cleveland Browns going to the New York Giants, and the Cleveland Browns are minus six and a half point favorites on the road. Uh, Daniel Jones, we're not 100% sure if he's going to play. He was banged up last week, so we'll see what ends up happening. LeVon Harvey, tell us what you got. Oh, I, got, I, got a, I got a little cute segment here, so give me about one minute tops. Um, if you have a, a offshore book, I need you to log in right now, okay? If, if you're in Vegas, I need you to run to the window, okay? Because I got a special segment called um, the Five Star Harv Lock of the Week, <laughs> and I'm going the New York Giants plus six point five. Is this wait, wait, real quick before you get into it? Is that your high school lock? Like, is that your high school locker room lock? Um, no, it's a locker found in my home, but let me double check to make sure that this, hold on. Oh, this game's a lock of the week. It's a lock of the week. Please, plus six, five, and guess what? Yo, listen, yo, next game, week, I'm coming with the game every outright. You're saying the, the Giants points. are going to win outright? They're going to win outright, but take the points to be safe. Run to the window, call your bookie. Uh, 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 log into your, your offshore account and let's get money together. Yo, Marcus, I'm, I'm gonna skip you on this one, Marcus. Yo, New York, Le yeah, I'm not New York, just New York. Levon has had too much to drink, too much Casamigos. See, <laughs> see, look, see, this is the problem with Zoom. See, when we started the Zoom call, he was buzzed, now he's drunk. I'm gonna take the Cleveland Browns minus six and a half. Listen, there's no yeah, chance in hell. <laughs> Shit on you. No chance. Shit on you. <laughs> no chance. You know All right. Baker, you. Baker, Baker's going to put up 38 or 40 on these guys. Not for nothing. It's not. And then the last game got, of the week. I think we got one more. All right. The last game of the week, the Monday night game, this is a real fucking shithole game. I mean, yeah. it is a rivalry, but it's still a shithole game. You got the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are minus 13-point favorites against the Cincinnati Bungles. In Cincinnati, I think we all know who we're going with in this game. Yeah, it's a fact. Let's all say it on three. One, two, three. Steelers. Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what this game is? This is a, hey, guys, remember me? Remember me? They're going to crush them. They've sucked the last two games, and here's their time to, hey, guys, we're still good. They're going to crush a bad team by 21-plus points and say, remember us? No, you guys are still going into the playoffs kind of, suspect no matter what happens this game but I, I totally have minus 13 people are going to take the Bengals plus 13 and lose that's the crazy part yeah uh, we're going to go we're all going to go we're all going to go minus 13 as 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 Marcus Mack shows off his homemade coquito that will get you so trash that you mm. yeah, that's a fact man y'all have y'all have a wonderful holiday man LeVon no no but family. we're going to see them we're going to see them before we're going to see them remember we're doing the show on Wednesday next week before okay. 
So we're going to see them before Christmas. So the, our, our next okay. week's show will be our send off. So to all, so to all the viewers, you will be seeing the episode on Thursday. But for those of you that don't see the show before Christmas, have a happy holidays. Y'all enjoy Christmas with your families. And thank you for watching the show. We are on 107. We're closing out the year. We are still on the show. LaVon, thank you for joining us. <clears throat> it's been a pleasure smoking your boots for the past... Uh, <laughs> it's been but, a pleasure but, smoking your boots for the past, uh, what was it, 12, 12 weeks? I think you got one week. Well, time up. I haven't been here all 12 weeks. But, you know, Marcus, on a serious note, though, I mean, I, I want to thank you guys for having me on the show. Um, and really, I mean, Christmas time, a lot of people are less fortunate. They don't have much. But um, if you're looking to get Christmas gifts and you're looking to put some gifts under the tree, like I said, you heard my picks. Um, Listen, I'm going to tell you something in Spanish. I hope you can understand it. Cojolo con te quiris y empete pal carajo, okay? Show over. That's it. It's a wrap. <laughs> Oh, sugar honey, I see. It's the EAC show. Mm -hmm.